welcome back. It's time for the game that we have all been waiting for. Indiana versus Purdue, the 17th ranked Hoosiers against the 5th ranked Boilermakers. Now, we're just about a half hour away from Tib. Both teams getting ready to take the floor. Fans piling into Mackey Arena. And now, this is one of the biggest rivalries in college basketball, but tonight it's also a top 25 ranked matchup with a Big Ten title on the line for the Boilermakers. Purdue is coming off of a 27-point win over Ohio State this Sunday, something that the Boilers needed to give them momentum heading into this one. Purdue had a five-day break from games, and head coach Matt Painter gave them two days off of practice. Freshman point guard Braden Smith said that aside from the win against Ohio State, the rest was another thing that they needed. Uh, definitely feels great. Never really thought I'd need that much rest, um, especially when I was younger in my high school days. But I mean, definitely just being able to kind of relax and kind of just get my legs back, just like you said. So I mean, it's been great and really helpful. And a big emphasis all week for Purdue as they prepare for the rematch is to stop Trace Jackson Davis. TJD is arguably one of the best players in the Big Ten and the country, averaging 23 points and 13 rebounds per game. He also leads the conference with over three blocked shots per game. Head coach Matt Painter said when you are Trace Jackson Davis's size, you shouldn't be able to do some of the things that he does. Painter said it will be a complete team effort trying to stop Jackson Davis tonight. We just don't face somebody with that kind of size, that kind of skill, and that kind of quickness. We don't have a matchup here where it's one guy on Trace Jackson Davis. There's been a couple people in our league that tried to do it by themselves, and that did not work. You know, it did not work, and it won't work. So you got to throw different things at him, and you got to mix things up, and he's still going to get some things. You just don't want him to get 35 and 20. And another guy that Purdue is looking to stop is Jalen hood -Shafino. The freshman guard is averaging over 14 points and almost four assists per game. hood -Shafino scored a career-best 33 points against Northwestern and is known for coming up big in crunch time for Indiana. Against the Boilers at Assembly Hall, hood -Shafino had 16 points, including the exclamation point dunk at the end to secure the future victory. Ethan Morgan has the tough task of chasing the IU freshman around the floor. He's just a really good player. He's comfortable at the ball screens. Um, so we just got to do a better job of trying to make him uncomfortable um, and making them work to score all their points and not turning the ball over and giving them easy ones to transition. And besides stopping those two guys, Purdue is looking to swing first and jump out to an early lead, something that the Boilermakers struggled with when playing at Assembly Hall, trailing by as many as 16 points in the first half. And now we mentioned it's a huge rivalry and there's a lot on the line in tonight's game, but perhaps the biggest thing is that Big Ten title. A win tonight for Purdue would guarantee at least a share of the Big Ten title, and what a better way to clinch it than on your home court against your biggest rival. Again, I mentioned tip-off at 7.30 p.m. I'm expecting one of the loudest, craziest environments here at Mackey Arena. Perry and Lisa, I did not bring any earplugs, so I hope you guys can still hear me, and I can hear you guys by the end of this, but we're looking forward to it. We will have highlights for you at 11. But for now, reporting from Mackey ahead of the biggest game of the season, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18.